What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is just going to be a real chill, chatty, sit down, get ready with me kind of video. I was just in the mood to just talk to you guys. I feel like I haven't updated you all in a long time and just talked. So that is what today's video is going to be. This is the look that I did. I honestly was not intending for this to be so dramatic like what was i feeling i don't know <laughs> but this is what came out before i get started though i just want to ask you guys to comment down below and leave me any questions that you may have been wanting to ask me because i really want to do a q a video in the upcoming future so leave your questions down below i will screenshot them and put them in the video and answer them as always if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post and with that being said let's get into it I had to like slather some lip balm on because my lips have been so dry lately and I don't know why but just like my skin has been playing up so much I'm gonna start with the face and I'm using this primer I have not used this for a hot minute but this was like my go-to back in the day this is the face of Australia face base primer to be honest I don't really think it does much in terms of like making my makeup stay on but um, I don't know, it just really moisturizes and suits my skin, which is exactly what I need at the moment because I feel like um, I've been having really dry skin, which if you know me, you know that I do have naturally super oily skin. So for me to say that my skin has been dry is not normal at all. So I've just reverted to using this primer again because it just keeps my skin super hydrated. And um, yeah, that's what I've been needing lately. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation. If you watched my first impressions video on this, then you know how I feel about it. If you haven't seen the video, I'll um, leave a link somewhere up top and in the description box for you guys to check it out. But yeah, man, this is pretty good for a drugstore foundation. I'm just gonna start with that and blend it in like so. That is like instant coverage for me right there. Like, look at that. Boom. Anyways, how have you all been? I swear I haven't done a like a chatty get ready with me video for months. Like it's been a long time. But I woke up today and I was just like, I was kind of in a mood. I don't know. Sometimes I get in my moods where I'm like feeling really lonely because obviously I live by myself now. And you guys finally know that now because if you've seen my um, video where I talk about my breakup, then you know that I live by myself. But yeah, sometimes I just wake up and I'm just like, <sighs> I feel really lonely. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like being by myself. That's just a natural trait of mine. I feel like I've always liked spending time by myself. Like even when I was in a relationship, I just always needed time to just like do me and be by myself. That's how I've always been. And I feel like that's just a natural personality trait of mine. Like I just love being able to just like chill by myself but like I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say oh my god like single life is so good I love being by myself all the time because sometimes you just like you just want someone there you know to talk to you and speaking of talking I feel like I sound really tired right now I'm not tired at all it's just that I haven't spoken all day it's like 2 p.m. in the afternoon right now and I haven't said a word out loud so it sounds like I'm like really tired but I promise I'm not tired I just this is my first time like talking all day, as weird as that sounds. So now I am just going to do a little bit of color correcting. You guys, if you haven't seen my latest video, the one all about my like concealer routine, like how I conceal and all that and prevent creases in the process, I'll leave a, I'll, I'll leave a video, I'll leave a link up top for you guys to check it out. But I swear I've been doing the same routine for my concealer for years and um, it hasn't failed me, so hopefully you guys did find that video helpful. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today. This one is in the shade Light Medium Honey. My hair is getting caught in my concealer. So I recently got my hair cut and um, I thought I liked it at first. You know when you get your hair cut and they style it really nice and you're like, damn, like that looks so good, I look so cute. And then a couple of days pass, you've washed your hair, you've tried to mimic the way that they styled your hair when they cut it and it just, it doesn't go the way you want. And then suddenly you don't like your hair cut. That's exactly how I feel about my hair. My hair was down to my butt 
it was pretty long and I was like telling myself for ages like you need to cut this shit because it's just too long and it has no style so I did it I went to the hairdresser and I was like just give me some layers and um, cut it a little shorter but man she like just went for it like she just cut it it's pretty much just under my boobs right now like that's how short it is and I know that's not short but compared to what it was before like all the way down to my hips and now it's just up underneath my boobs I'm like <laughs> did I make a mistake by doing this I mean I'm not too phased by it because I'm not a very like attached person like even though I cut my hair and I'm like oh my god it's so short I honestly just feel like it'll grow back it's all good so not a big deal Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with some powder. You guys know all about this. The Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. So this product is like the thing that stops my concealer from creasing. No matter what concealer I use, I feel like this really does help to minimize the creasing and um, also prevent it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my lids as well and see how this works as a base for my eyeshadow because I usually like to go in with like a proper eyeshadow base but I don't know, I just wanna see how it works as a base for an eyeshadow because I know a lot of people like to use this concealer for that as well. I'm also just going to set the rest of my face with the Hello Flawless Press Powder. If I can find a drugstore version of this powder, that would be amazing because I'm pretty sure from what I remember, this costs a pretty penny, but it's so good. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty palette today, the Desert Dusk one. I don't really know what kind of look I feel like doing. I have an idea of what kind of look I want to do, but I'm not really sure. It's probably going to be really neutral, so... Um, mm, I think I want to take the Eden shade first. Where is she? There she is, Eden. And I'm just using a Zoeva Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that right up in the crease. I think today's look is just gonna be like a really neutral, smoky one. Lots of warm tones, you know how it is. I think I wanna add like a little more warm, oh shit. I wanna add like a little more warm yellow to the crease. So you already know I have the Jaclyn Hill palette here and I'm gonna take Creamsicle, because that is like my go-to crease shade. And I swear if I could get this in like a single pan form, that would be amazing. Ooh, that gives me like peachy vibes. Those two colors mixed together. I'm liking it. While I'm here, I may as well just take some of that Creamsicle shade and run it along my bottom lash line as well. So next up, I'm gonna go back into the Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to take Blazing, is that what it's called? Yeah, Blazing, the bright orange matte shade down the bottom here. And I'm just using a Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and run this through the crease as well, just to help build it up. I feel so weird because I took my um, Traegis piercing out, if you guys have noticed. It's gone. I just took it out because I don't know, I wanted to see if I could take it out. And then I couldn't get it back in. So now I'm just like, what the heck? I don't usually take any of my piercings out just because, you know, they're always such a bitch to get back in. But lesson learned, I shouldn't have taken it out. And I don't want it to close up. I don't think it'll close up because I've had this one for years, like years. But now I just, I feel so naked without it. Anytime I take any of my piercings out, I'm just like, wow, that is just not how it's meant to be. Like, it just looks so weird. I get a lot of questions about my date piercing, the one that has the hoop in it. That one, unfortunately, didn't heal up very well. It's still like in its healing stages which sucks because I've never had this problem of piercings not healing up properly like I have a fair few piercings and um, they've always healed up really nicely but for some reason that one has just taken so long and um, I've considered taking it out because I'm just so annoyed with it I think it's because when I first got it done and when I'd go to the gym obviously I'd put headphones in and I think that probably interfered with the healing process I mean, I can't go to the gym without listening to music, but I do regret not letting it heal properly first. But it is what it is, so I'm thinking about taking it out, but I don't know if I will. Every single piercing that I've ever gotten, I've always kept. I've never taken a piercing out. I'm just adding more of that creamsicle into the crease because this is looking very orange, which I like. Um, I still want a little more of that yellow up in there. So you guys may not be able to believe this, but your girl is gonna start vlogging again. And I know I've always said like, oh, my life is so boring, like it's not worth vlogging, but you guys stay commenting, messaging, just 
always in my face asking me to vlog again, which I'm not mad about. Like, I love that you guys enjoy watching what I do so much, but it's honestly, it's, it's boring to me. <laughs> but you guys have been very persuasive and yeah, I'm thinking about, well, I am going to start vlogging again. I pulled out my vlogging camera yesterday and I was like, wow. This is very nostalgic, like so many memories with this thing, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm keen to get back into it. I'm going to go into the shade Amber right here. I don't even know how to describe that shade. Like, how would you describe that? But I'm just going to put this right in the crease to add a little more definition once again. I've also been getting questions asking me whether I'm gonna be doing like any other kinds of videos other than makeup tutorials, which you know I'm so passionate about. Like I love doing makeup tutorials, but I feel like they, as fun as they are to do, they're not so, how do I describe it? Like not everybody wants to be out there putting a full glam beat face of makeup on. I get it, but I'm just all about process. Like I love watching the face transform. So that's probably why I enjoy doing these videos so much. But if you guys don't like them, like I totally get it. I also want to bring my mom on the channel, which I'm really excited about. I actually haven't asked her about it yet. Like I've not asked her if it's something she wants to do, but I'm sure she'd be down for it as much as she hates, she says she hates being on my Snapchat, but I know she secretly likes it. If you guys have me on Snapchat, then you probably have seen my mom on the odd occasion. And I gotta say she's pretty funny, which is why I love putting her on my Snapchat. I'm gonna take the shade Oud, the brown shade, the matte brown, the darkest shade in the palette. and just pack that onto my lid and blend it up into the crease. But with my mum, like, I always put her on my snap whenever I get to see her. And it's so funny, like, the reaction I get from you guys as well. Like, you guys seem to love her. I always get people replying to my story like, oh my god, she's so funny. And yeah, I just want to bring her on my channel. So I don't know what our first video is going to be. Probably, it may be like me doing her makeup or something and just us talking or whatever. Or like, the mum tag, I don't know. <laughs> Leave your suggestions down below. Um, but yeah, I want to bring her into my channel because she's so funny and I love spending time with her whenever I get to spend time with her. It looks like a sunset. All my makeup looks always end up looking like a sunset. You guys know that I'm so into my warm tones, especially because my skin tone is very like warm, golden, olive, that kind of thing. Um, but damn, that is. That's very warm. I've also been getting a lot of messages and comments from you guys asking me to do um, updates on my skin after Accutane. And boy, do I have an update for you guys in regards to that. Like, it ain't all what you think it is, let me tell you. Another thing that you guys have been requesting me to do is an update on my braces. So I'll probably do like a full on in-depth, up in-depth, in-depth. That sounds weird, but I know that's the right word. Um, but yeah, I probably will do a detailed update on that, like a dedicated video in the future. It's coming up to my one year anniversary for having the braces on, which is just crazy to me. I can't believe I, I've nearly had these babies on for a year. But in terms of the braces, like everything is going all well, like... I feel so awkward, smiling. <laughs> Yeah, everything's going well. I still, I still, oh my goodness, I still need to do like a how I keep my teeth white um, video because you guys have been requesting that as well. I'm so sorry. Like the past few months have been a little bit of a roller coaster for me. So I've just been all over the place, but I feel like I'm ready to get back into things and just start pumping out the videos. So um, I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, I, I have a lot of content that I need to do, requests that I need to fulfill. And um, yeah, I'm telling you, like they're coming. So I'm liking how this is looking, but I feel like it's pulling very maroon burgundy type of vibes, which isn't what I was going for. I just want it to be brown. So I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't know its name off the top of my head. Wait, is that the color I want? Yeah, that's the color I want. Ooh, yes, that's dark. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have um, in mind in terms of my channel and what I intend to do with it this year. If you have any other requests or recommendations, or things that you want to see from me, let a girl know. I'm always down to take in your ideas and your input. Other than that, that is pretty much everything that has been going on with me. I've just been like chilling, doing my thing, trying to figure out myself, what I want to do, you know, that kind of thing. Also, it is my birthday in a week. 
I'm about to be 27 and I know like it's not that old. It isn't old at all. I have a lot of people who watch me who are in fact older than me. But it's just crazy to me to be like, yeah, I'm 27. And whenever people ask me, like, how old are you? It's always a big shock whenever I tell them how old I am. They're like, are you serious? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, man, I am. I'm about to be 27. I always get told that I have a real baby face. I don't think I do. I don't know, it's them Asian jeans, man. It's the Asian jeans. It's crazy like how fast time is going. I feel like the year in general has just gone by so quickly. Like 2017 was insane. It went by so quickly. And just time is flying by. Like I feel like as you get older, time definitely does go by quicker. And when I think about it, it's just crazy like how quickly time has gone and how everything is like completely opposite to what I thought my life was gonna be. Like I honestly, this is getting really deep right now. I'm about to get deep on you guys. But I honestly, at 27, I thought that I would like, as crazy as this sounds, I thought I was gonna like be married, have a kid, like have a family, that kind of thing. You know, the thing that society implants in your mind. Just the typical thing that society implants into your mind. Like, that's what you need to do. That's exactly what I thought I was gonna be when I was 27. Um, but clearly, things aren't that way and I'm just going on a different path. And the old me, I feel like I would have been like freaking out. But I'm just like, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm just happy just doing my own thing. And I feel like this year is just gonna be all about just doing whatever I want. <laughs> That's what I feel like 2018 is gonna be all about. That's my motto, just whatever happens, happens. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not just gonna drift through life like doing whatever the hell I want, but I feel like it's important to have a good balance between doing what you want and also planning for the future. I feel like if you're worrying too much about the future, that's when you forget to like live in the moment and that is the most important part of life is to just live in the moment. Don't be too phased by the future. Don't worry about the past. What has happened is gone and what is coming still isn't here yet. So you may as well live in the present moment. This is looking so intense right now. I'm going to go into my Ofra highlighter in Blissful. I haven't used this one yet, but ooh, look how pretty she is. Who's texting me? Nobody. Instagram notification. When your phone goes off and you're like, oh, somebody's messaging me. And then it's just an Instagram notification. This highlighter is very like rosy toned, I feel. Like it's giving me rose gold vibes right now. So I'm not gonna do any liner. I'm just gonna keep it sultry, keep it smoky, and I'm gonna hit up my lashes with some mascara. So this is the L'Oreal Lash, oh no, L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is the Aussie version of what you guys have in the US and um, Canada and all that. I was really excited for this mascara actually, so when I saw that it was available here finally, it has different packaging though as you can see, um, but when I saw it was available I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting that. Oh my god, chill please. But honestly, nothing beats my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Like that mascara is hands down number one. And I need to go to Sephora to go and pick another one up because the one that I had has like done its days. Like it's dried out, it's finished, I've used it completely up. But my nearest Sephora is like a 40 minute drive. It's all the way on the other side of town. Um, yeah, I just can't be bothered to drive all the way there. You know. Alrighty, for lashes, I think I want to use these today. These are the Dodo Lashes in the style 309. Are these going to be too intense? Let's see. I'm just in a mood to put on some big ass lashes today, so I'm going to put these on and I'll be right back. Alright, the eyes are done. I don't really know if I like this makeup look to be honest, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to now contour my face as always. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. For the past couple of weeks, I feel like my cheeks have been a lot more swollen than usual. I typically have like chubby cheeks as it is, <laughs> um, but I had to get brackets, like more brackets put on my very back teeth in my mouth. And so for the past couple weeks whenever I talk it's like painful because my mouth is all cut up which in turn makes my cheeks and my face more swollen I feel like I've had to like get used to my braces all over again because of this 
and it's been very painful. <laughs> to bronze, I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I swear, whenever I open this up, it just, the smell like, makes me feel so summery. It smells like summer. Speaking of which, I have not been to the beach yet this summer. And as you guys may be aware, down here in the Southern Hemisphere, it is currently summer, and I haven't been to the beach yet, so I feel like I'm missing out. But I swear, whenever I open this bronzer, that is exactly what it smells like. It smells like the beach. For blush, I'm going to take the Morphe 9N blush palette and I want to use this one down the bottom here in the middle. It has like a really nice shimmery gold undertone to it. So we're going to see how that goes. Mmm, I like it. I think I've used this before, but I can't remember. I'm gonna go back into the Blissful Highlighter by Ofra. It's so pretty, every time I look at it on screen, I'm just like, <laughs> so pretty. These highlighters are so intense. Like you need to learn how to be light-handed with it. Cause like, don't get me wrong, I love a good highlighter, but it's so easy for these to go like from zero to a hundred real quick. I think that ain't too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just lining my lips with the Chi Chi lip liner in the shade Spite. It is very hard to talk and line your lips at the same time. I have one of the NYX lip lingeries here. This one is in the shade Corset. It is very nude, but I don't know. I just want to put a nude on and see how it goes. I actually kind of like that. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it would be too nude, but it's like blending with the lip liner, which I like. I'm just going over top with some of the Astralis Demi Matte lipstick in the shade Empower because I didn't really like how the color dried down. So there we have it guys, that just about concludes this get ready with me video. I don't really know how I feel about this look. I just wasn't intending to be so dramatic and dark with it today, but it's okay, it's all right. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on about whatnot for the past however long this video is gonna be. I feel like this is gonna be a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Leave me some comments down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And if you have any other like suggestions or requests for what you'd like to see from me in the future, then don't forget to leave me your suggestions as well. If you guys wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, all of the details for that are down below. And with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video.